Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with a new Toyota RAV4 2023 facelift and I have the new multimedia system, the new digital cockpit, the biggest one and also the biggest cockpit in 2023 and I want to present you and I want to go into details. So yeah, let's start guys. First of all, we will start with the digital cockpit. This is the new digital cockpit. Toyota use it also on the new Corolla Cross, on the new Corolla facelift and also on the new RAV4. Probably they will bring it also on other models. Now, uh, how you control it? You control it from here, from the left side on the steering wheel. It's very simple. In the middle there, you have kind of a free options in the middle there you can choose from free customizable screens so there in the middle you can see one two three and you can customize the screen and what you would like to have on the left and, and right part and then from there all you have to do is just go and choose those uh, different one to three customizable screens but this is not all because we can go even deeper if you go in the settings you will see in the middle we will have a settings from where you can change and see different views for example here it's a simple view then we have this from adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features view then you have the settings view and you have this message view and if you go in the message view it will tell you like okay you have the low fuel because the brand new car windshield fluid fuel low and stuff like that so we have two errors no nothing important there but if you go on the left side, you can customize what you like to see on the left side. Like for example, right now you see the consumption, you see the echo score, you see this EV driving ratio, you see also the adaptive cruise control and all that autopilot's information and you see the navigation there. But you can see the map. I'm not sure why not because I was managed to, to put the map on the Corolla Cross on the screen and I'm not sure why. I'm not able today I didn't I wasn't able to put it on the on the cockpit and I, I'm not sure if it works that then you have the driving information there let me go back again driving information and then you have a nice view like a, like a graphic for example when you start the engine you will see what happened with the energy and we will see when the battery will charge and stuff like that if you go even on the left side even more on the left side you can choose what you like to see so for example you can choose what you like to add on these widgets on the left side and you can see now we have extra this four wheel drive information with what happened with the wheels and then you can go even on the left side let me show you if you go also on the right side sorry you can see and you can change there the same story you can activate and choose whatever you want to have on the right side so it's quite nice how you can customize that and also you can add different um, settings and widgets there so information that you like to see and if we go again in the middle let me go in the middle let me go to settings and from the settings you have a lot of settings there it's, it's really interesting you have like adjust the meter brightness you have all that safety features emergency brake lane assist blind spot technology parking sensors are activated right now then you have also the reverse emergency uh, alert if you go in reverse and a car come from the side they will warn you or a car or a bicycle or stuff like that and all that safety features you can activate it from here like reading the traffic signs and um, I'm not sure what is this I don't remember but anyway a safety feature uh, vehicle settings if you go to vehicle settings you can see here you have all that autopilot open the trunk those are the sensors from the tires the pressure sensors down here rear seat reminder yeah those are simple and if we go to the next one the meter settings this is more interesting you can change the language of the cockpit the units the meter type look at this this is cool i like that you can choose to have it simple like that in the middle with information on the side or you can choose to have it like this even simple my favorite to be honest is this one and if we go even farther on the meter style, you can change to casual, to smart, to trot, and to sporty. How cool is that? Yeah, you can customize now in more interesting ways how you like to see the, the, the cockpit there. And if you change the driving mode, let me show you. If you go to echo mode, the, the screen colors will change slightly. 
and if we go to sport mode you will see more red and then normal it's like normal but you have to wait a little bit until to see those colors and right now it's quite bright outside so you cannot see it so well and also today was so hot and now it start raining it's crazy let me go forward here i will i already present you the car if you want to see the review check it out it's already on the channel let's go to the multimedia now we have this big screen this is 12.5 inch uh, cockpit by the way good visibility from the driver point of view so from here no problem and also good visibility on this uh, multimedia system because it's positioned it perfectly on your on your side view so it doesn't take too much to look down or up on the on the road you still see other cars in traffic then going here what I like very much is the fact that it's much more responsive than before it's crazy crazy responsive I mean it's one of the best on the market these days now I can totally tell you that it's crazy responsive it works very good and also once you press the destination you choose the destination you add new destination it works fast this is something that the I love because most now. of the time I want to move fast I have to go from place to place fast and I have to pull this be able to put the navigation fast so for example now i want to add another destination and i go oh i say like okay i want to go to lausanne okay get me to lausanne as fast as possible choose the destination move add new destination and then you go to lausanne press go and you're go to go now. it's it's fabulous and also very responsive great job toyota really much better so this is navigation here we have the shortcut buttons like the multimedia system here on the left side we have the dab the radio the, the station and all that stuff we go to, to telephone we go to car trip information about the car it's kind of the same as you see it also on Corolla Cross the energy flow it shows you here the battery the electric motor the electric motor the petrol engine then we go to customize lights customize door controls climatic and utility from here you can customize those um, different settings and then here we have the application where we have the web browsing and notification because the car is able it's connected to the internet you're able to browse the internet and also keep in mind it comes with Android and Apple CarPlay wireless and this is also another plus and down here we have the settings of the car the Bluetooth and devices uh, general settings like accessibility date and time keyboards language and units Wi-Fi you can go to Wi-Fi activate it display it has also hotspot on the car uh, screen information and settings and then the camera from the 360 degrees camera informations uh, by the way talking about the camera let's go let me show you the camera if you go in reverse you can see this 360 degrees camera and it shows you lovely and once you start driving I will show you also the lanes and it, it's really really useful uh, you see those lanes active lanes and you can park the car super super easy love the camera the resolution it's very good so from this point of view great great job and now you have also that 360 degrees view that Toyota come with at standard you have a button on the left side from the steering and you have to activate it and then it will show you what happened around the car so yeah that's something to keep in mind uh, sound system here you have all the settings of the sound systems media setting FM radio DAP setting and then uh, display I show you sound navigation settings those are important here you find all the information of the navigation system and they have so many information they improve it much more than it was before uh, vehicle customization you already see that it's it's simple it's nothing crazy complicated as you find it in a Mercedes it's simple and um, I like that I like to keep it simple many people like it simple so I guess this was all I don't know if I can show you still something uh, but I can show you something cool the camera on the mirror you can transform your mirror in a camera and on this RAV4 you can do that as on the previous version you can choose the brightness you can choose the position of the camera from here so look at this really cool this is all and that was the video guys I hope you get some useful information from 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 this video it's crazy hot outside today it's kind of super hot in the car and outside it's raining it's crazy but anyway that was the video I hope you get some useful information I will make a separate video on how to connect your iPhone Apple CarPlay uh, on this new multimedia system from Toyota and I hope you enjoy it don't forget to like share subscribe thank you very much for watching stay safe and I see you soon in the next one bye guys